Hello friends, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the series which we have started for IBPS AFO mains exam that is agriculture and this is lecture number 30 in that series and today we are going to do few important MCQs on diseases that occur in poultry. So friends, I have one more announcement. We at EduTap, we have launched courses for IBPS A4 2020-21 and as I have promised, we have launched the courses for IBPS A4 mains 2020-21 and you can find the links to the uh, demo courses as well as payment links in the description box below. So you can go through that and avail the offer. So friends, here comes the first question in this lecture, which of the following is a viral disease of poultry birds? See friends, there are various diseases that occur in poultry of which you know, few are caused by viruses, few by bacteria, few fungal, few, you know, uh, protozoans as well. And few diseases are because of the uh, you know deficiencies in uh, you know various minerals and vitamins as well so this particular disease it is caused by virus and that is gumbro disease this is one of the dangerous diseases that are associated with that is associated with poultry bird and which includes you know uh, caused by a virus which is known as infectious bursal disease virus that is IBDV and Gumbro disease is also known as infectious bursal disease. See bursa is it's a lymphal gland in uh, poultry birds and this disease it causes you know inflammation and various other uh, infections in that bursa and this is again you know highly contagious disease of young chickens and mortality can be seen generally at the age of three to six weeks of age when it you know this uh, particular disease is infected and then this is you know infected via orofecal root either orally or via fecal root with affected bird which excretes high level of virus for approximately two weeks after the infection because of which this can easily spread from infected chickens to the healthy chickens through food water or even physical contact and what are the symptoms pecking at other chickens high fever ruffled feathers trembling and slow walking you know they sometimes fi found lying together in clumps with their heads sunken towards the ground diarrhea can also be observed yellow and foamy stool difficulty in excretion even reduced eating or anorexia can also be observed in this IBD disease or the Gumbro disease. And what is the treatment? Actually, there is no treatment for IBD, but support therapies such as vitamin and electrolyte supplements and various antibiotics can be used, you know, to treat any secondary infections, which may, you know, reduce the impact of the uh, disease as such on these birds. So friends, next comes is foul cholera of poultry is caused due to, as I mentioned earlier, it might be virus, bacteria, protozoa or fungi that causes various diseases in poultry. And here this foul cholera is caused by bacteria. And what is that bacteria? That is Spasturella maltosida. And here this is a very contagious bacterial infection that causes foul cholera and chronically infected birds are considered to be the major source of infection and sometimes recovered birds also they remain carriers and transmission is from bird to bird or from infected premises where you know these birds are kept and this disease even can cause mortality and it range from it can range from acute septicemia that is blood poisoning to chronic and localized infections and you know in acute cases one can see increased mortality in the birds and the symptoms include you know uh, swelling of the face or wattles discharge from the nostrils mouth and eyes which may become you know cheesy labor you know labored breathing that is a very difficulty in breathing and in some cases even lack of coordination can be seen 
and in few cases they you know the face combs and the wattles they become cyanotic that is they turn bluish in color and other symptoms include depression loss of appetite lameness diarrhea and ruffled feathers and foul cholera it is a treatable disease with sulfonamides and antibiotics but this disease can be best controlled by eradication how by providing good biosecurity practices it is providing good amount of feed uh, hygienic uh, maintenance good sanitation rodent control and separation of birds by age with thorough clean out between the flock so that that can't be spread and this bacterium is susceptible to ordinary disinfectant sunlight drying and heat so that so you know it is easy to control this and with you know uh, normal cleanliness and the hygiene maintenance and the separation of birds by age this this also can you know uh, reduce the incidence of this fall cholera so friends here comes the next question which of the following are the or is or are the fungal diseases of poultry birds here the options given are favors moniliasis and aspergillosis and yes all these are caused by fungus and these are fungal diseases favors it's caused by fungus trichophyton gallinae and here the symptoms include white powdery spots and wrinkled crust and scab on comb and wattles feather loss honeycomb skin all these are you know Uh, symptoms and it, this can be treated by formal mixing formalin in petroleum jelly and applying and good hygiene facilities and culling affected birds can be done so as to prevent the cause or the spread of this disease moniliosis it is caused by candida albicans and symptoms include dejection poor appetite slow growth diarrhea you know sometimes even confused or you know these can these can be masked by signs of various other primary diseases and treatment copper sulfate 1 kg per ton feed for 5 days or copper sulfate 1 gram per 2 liters of water for 3 days can be provided and prevention avoid excessive use of antibiotics and other stressors because these can reduce the immunity of these birds to other diseases so to to avoid these kind of diseases like moniliosis ex uh, avoiding excessive use of antibiotics can be uh, followed proper hygiene should be maintained and that can be done with propionic acid or sodium or calcium propionate at 1 kg per ton continually control of candida through drinking water is sometimes practiced with chlorination at 5 ppm and fresh clean food needs to be given along with fresh water which is uncontaminated by this fungi aspergillosis is another fungal disease caused by fungus aspergillus fumigatus where in symptoms include inappetence weakness silent gasping rapid breathing nervous signs which is rare of course thirst and drowsiness next treatment there is no cure for infected birds as such but this the spread can be controlled by improving the ventilation eliminating the source of infection that is culling the birds or removing them from the you know uh, the entire uh, lot and then adding fungi stat like mycostatin mold curb sodium or calcium propionate gentian violet to the feed or even copper sulfate or acidified copper you know it can be added to the drinking water for 3 days and the litter can be sprayed lightly with an oil based germicide so as to control the dust and air movement of this fungal spores from one place to other otherwise prevention can be done by using clean litter and uh, Uh, well maintained hygiene and thoroughly disinfecting and cleaning the brooding area between the broods while moving one brood i mean uh, changing the lot of birds then this can be done and do not use sawdust litter high in bark content or shavings that have been wet because this can increase the incidence of aspergillosis so friends here comes the next question a day old chick vaccinated for which disease in poultry see friends there is a list of vaccination schedule that needs to be followed for poultry various animals just like human beings the same you know a vaccination schedule is followed for poultry birds as well as you can see and here a day old chicks is vaccinated with you know vaccination for marex disease and marex disease is a viral disease of poultry wherein symptoms include 
tumors in nerves which cause lameness and paralysis and here tumors tumors can occur in eyes and cause irregularly shaped pupils and sometimes even lead to blindness in the birds tumors can be observed in various kinds of you know, organs like liver kidney spleen gonads pancreas uh, proventriculars lungs muscles and skin also along with that there can be seen in coordination paleness labored breathing and enlarged feather follicles in terminal stages the birds are emaciated with pale scaly combs and greenish diarrhea as well that can be observed and this marix this is generally occur in chickens of 12 to 25 weeks of age and there is no proper treatment as such for marix disease and here prevention can only be through vaccination but that too this vaccine vaccination only prevents this tumor formation which leads to you know sometimes even death of the birds but the infection cannot be prevented by this vaccination as well and how is this vaccination given 0.2 ml subcutaneous injection in the neck can be given see there are various kinds of vaccination like live vaccination uh, attenuated dead killed so and along with that there are various types of you know providing this vaccination like subcutaneous injection with feed or injections or just you know uh, touching uh, you know uh, putting a tube and dipping in the uh, dipping in the vaccination and applying it on various parts whatever that is required so this we have already covered in our course as part of this uh, poultry vaccination schedule so one can go through that so friends here comes the last question in this lecture coccidiosis it is caused by coccidiosis is a disease that is caused by aimeria acervulina and it is one of the common protozoan diseases that one can observe in poultry birds and symptoms include bloody feces that is feces uh, blood in the feces ruffled feathers anemia and reduced head size these are the various symptoms that one can observe in coccidiosis and control and prevention see it is impossible to completely remove coccidial oocytes from the farm environment so what one can do is control should focus on producing environmental condition that substantially reduce the number of infective oocytes and here it has been seen that that coccidia oocytes are able to withstand some disinfectants as well although they are killed by noxious gases such as ammonia and methyl bromide so here good rearing is fundamental in preventing coccidiosis so that it can uh, you know uh, one can stop the spreading around the farm and you know proper hygiene uh, hygiene maintenance proper cleaning and you know these oocytes can be disseminated by feces litter everything so cleanliness should be maintained thoroughly and it is observed it is advisable with good management to allow some exposure to coccidia so as to develop immunity in birds so it is also advisable that the birds can be you know Uh, they can be allowed for some exposure to this coccidia oocyte so that the disease i mean uh, you know they birds can develop immunity so friends here comes the answer of the day and in the previous lecture i had asked you a question that which breed of poultry is commonly known as the indian game and i have already also given you a hint that this is not an asiatic class bird or indian class bird this is cornish which is from cornwall uk and this is known as the indian game because most of the modern boy broiler chicken breeds in india they are developed from this cornish chicken breed only though it is you know perfect dual purpose chicken that is both for eggs and meat this is generally reared for meat purposes only So friends here comes the question of the day and today's question is chicken feed consisting of random mixed grains is called as see friends as per the you know uh, chicken rearing they need to be fed with some food some feed so that feed you know that can consist of various items and here this particular chicken feed which consists of random mixed grains is called as this is what today's question is 
so thank you very much friends for watching this video and if you have any queries please write to us at hello at the rate edutype.co.in and if you have any queries you can even reach us at the number given here thank you very much